So first thing we need to do when start our modding, we need modding tool which control our mods. You can of course drag and drop all mod files in correct folders, but because we have option to make things easier, let's do it. First, you need to download Vortex, link in description down below. When you first start your Vortex, you need to tell for it which game you want to edit. Search Cyberpunk 2077 under Game tab and click Manage. After that, Cyberpunk is active, you can see image left up corner and if you click Mods tab, you will see all mods which are installed in your game through Vortex. When you add mods in Vortex, it doesn't install things automatically. You get alerts during this process up right corner, but you can ignore them until we install all mods. You can't install all mods by using Vortex, but most of them you can. I tell you when we install mods, which you need to drag in its own folder. Link for all mods in description down below. So let's do this people, let's fix this game together. First we need few mod engines so all mods works. Cyber engine tweaks is required for many mods. People also use it to create actual mods but for us it's just engine connecting mods with game. It also includes few game fixes itself. Just click mod manager download under file tabs. Cyber engine has its own UI where you can control mods which is installed under CET. Depending your keyboard which key it is, but at least for me, it was button left side of enter. Another mod engine we need is red script. Works same way than CET, modding tool and for us connecting mods with game, download with Vortex. This mod doesn't have own UI in the game. Now let's continue with bug fix mods, then some gameplay overhauls and changes, and last let's add some life quality mods, reskin mods etc fun stuff. First on our list is unofficial game patches. This mod will fix major bugs in game like perks which doesn't work as they should, cyberware parts and other few things. Fixing bugs like simple typos in actual game code which just happen to stay in final game. Download with Vortex. Ice load fix mod. Fix bug aka feature because for some game engine saving purposes, game removes NPC eyes very soon after zooming out from NPC. With this mode, you can keep your eyes even when looking from distance. Download with Vortex. Fix vendor missing item mode. After visit first time with certain vendors, their inventory will bug and doesn't show all items. This mode fix that and you can use all vendors without wondering is something missing. Download with Vortex. Layer slope death fix. Prevents most deaths from the glitch where you will die from fall damage when walking on slopey surfaces. You can now safely walk on railings, garbage piles, watt towers, etc. Download with Vortex. Eye adaption auto exposure fix. When you're driving under a bridge or in tunnel and get outside in the sun, in vanilla, you will be blind because sun is so bright. This mod fix that and you don't crash every time because can't see anything. Download with Vortex. Annoy me no more mod is collection of many different annoying things in game which we can keep bugs or glitches which we shouldn't have in game or we just don't want to see them every single time. Because of my other mods, we can't use all files in this collection, download with Vortex following files. Disable call restrictions. Disable mantis blades finisher. Disable relic malfunctions. Fall fix. Jump fix. And stand up for dialogues. Advanced controls mod give opportunity 
to give key bindings for many things which game doesn't allow without. Example in vanilla, you can't holster your gun at all, so you must run around with gun on your hand or bare fists. Now, you can walk like normal person without pointing gun everywhere you go. You can find these advanced controls from CETUI in game. Set whatever key you want, just remember that game and CET don't know which keys you bind, so you can accidentally bind same key in two different places, and this can cause issues. Download with Vortex. Respector mode and more tools in CET UI, and you can use it for cheats, cheating purposes or keep it as backup if some bugs happens and you want to get some items back. For me, personally, this mod is for changes your attributes if needed at some point. In game, you can reset your skills with item which cost 100,000 but not attribute points. So if I need to reset my points, I can pay that 100,000 for Reaper Dog and use Respector mod to edit my attribute points. Download with Vortex. Simple menu mode is a little bit like advanced control mode or Respector. Gives a user interface that provides gameplay, cheat and utility features to be executed by press of button. Also includes hotkey functions. Download with Vortex. Hide read shards. There is million duplicates for shards and this mod will hide those ones you have already read. Download with Vortex. And now it's time to start change game as it should be. Hold on your seats, here we go. Vehicle handling mod. If you have driven vehicle in Cypunk, you have noticed that it's terrible. It's like driving nice all the time. There is many many mods which fix this issue. Personally I enjoy this version of mod. Download with Vortex. Enhanced Police. One of the police is stupid as left leg shoe and works very weirdly. It will lose you after not seeing you 10 seconds, teleport in weird places, etc. Enhanced Police change cop behavior and they spawn somewhere natural place and arrives with cars or running or just drone, depending your crime. You can even get car chases with this mod and it can be your own little extra minigame just driving around and chased by police. Download with Vortex. Enhanced throwing knives. Normally, when you throw knife, you lose it. So using knives really sucks. With mod, you can pick them up after throwing and keep killing enemies. There is also option to have unlimited knife knives, but I keep it a little cheesy. Download with Vortex. AI Netrunners Enhanced In-game, Netrunners has only two different hacks to use, and there is even bug which prevent them hacking entirely. Sounds fun? Right. Let's fix that with this mod, and now Netrunners will work and hack like a player, and use all different hacks against you, making battle much more interesting. Download with Vortex. Realistic Overhaul Mod. Vanilla NPCs are bullet sponges, and you need way too many bullets to kill them. This mod changed combat to much more realistic, and enemies will die much more easier. If you hit head example. You need to upgrade your weapons and armors, cause this affects on you as well. Run around with low level gun without armors and you are dead. Keep guns upgraded, wear armors, think before act and you are good to go. This mod works only on hardest difficulty currently. And you need drop mod in right folder. Cyberpunk 2077 archives PC mod folder. Visual overhaul mod will change game looking a little bit better. This mod need drop in folder as well. Path is Cyberpunk 27.7, bin, x64 and drop all 4 files in folder. In game, press home button and choose e3overhaul.ini, close with home and end button will able and disable effect. Audio overhaul is massive 11 gig mod which change over 800 tracks. 
rebalance and fix them so game sounds so much better. Installing is kind of tricky, but in mod page there is good instructions how to install mod step by step. Better ray traced lighting. A simple mod which gives more detailed look for game. Download with Vortex. Arm cyber rebalance. Change melee weapons and cyber so they are believable and reliable weapon in end game as well. Download with Vortex. Gorilla Arm Extender. Change how Gorilla Arm should work. You can open doors and rip off turrets, no matter what body stats you have. You just need install Gorilla Arms and your character, and you are more powerful. Makes sense? Download with Vortex. Purchable Optical Camo Mode. In game, they are talking about this cyberware, but you can't actually buy it anywhere. This mod able that you can buy camo for yourself and be invisible in battles. Download with Vortex. Alternate Optical Camo. Optical Camo looks like blue visible glitch when you use it. This mod change appearance so camo looks actual camo and blend on background like chameleon. Drop file in Cyberpunk 277, Archives, PC and mod folder. Instant crafting. Vanilla crafting has little delay when you need keep crafting button pressed. Now you can craft and disassemble without any annoying delay. Download with Vortex. Item level scaled upgrade cost. Change the upgrade cost of item so upgrading item costs are scaled by item level instead of number of times upgraded. Download with Vortex. Clear skill checks. When you talk with people, with some attributes you can get extra dialogue options, but game doesn't show what level you should have if dialogue option isn't unlocked. This mod shows you how high attribute level you have and how big it should be. Download with Vortex. Better minimap. Vanilla map is terrible. When you drive, it's too zoomed in and you will miss your turn every time. With this mod, it change map, so when you walk, it zooms in, and when drive, zooms out. This is amazing life savior. Download with Vortex. GTA Travel. You have maybe seen fast travel in GTA. Zoom out up in the sky, move over area, and zoom in where you traveled. Work same way in Cyberpunk, and fast travel looks much more interesting. If you use this mod, save every time before travel, cause you might get stuck after travel and need reload. Download with Vortex. Sell stolen car. This mod give you different options to make a little bit more money in game, and interesting side missions. Dakota gives you missions that you need to steal specific car and bring it back. Great way to make money, and you can even add stolen cars in your own car list. Download with Vortex. Lamborghini skin mode. Caliburn, fastest car in game, looks great. But with this skin mode, car looks freaking epic. Just wait and see. Download with Vortex. Dynamic mood. Add some dynamics in game boring static environment. Download with Vortex. Dog tag dangle physics. Adds dingle dangle physics when wear dog tags. Download with Vortex. Johnny Metalhead and Jacket. Change Johnny's skin in game and make him look even more badass. Drop file in Cyberpunk 2077 archives, PC, mod folder. Doom Eternal font. Change game font a little bit to look more like font from Doom game. Download with Vortex. Retro ringtone. Remember Nokia tune? This mod replaced normal ringtone with Nokia tune. Download with Vortex. Fancy knives and katanas. Replace for skins and katanas. Download both folders and choose one katana skin and one knife skin and drop those files in Cyberpunk 2077 archive PC mod. 
Choose only one file each. Island begun. New hair for Checky. Gives different hair for Checky boy. Download with Vortex. And that was our whole list and time to install mods. In Vortex, up right corner, you see bell icon and notifications. In there you have install all button, click that and Vortex will install mods. Enable mods and after that click elevate button and game is modded and you are ready to jump in. If you ever disable or add more mods, remember you need always elevate Vortex so mod list is updated in game. How to check that game is stable? One easy way what I found is jump in game, open your settings and gi binding tab. Scroll down and up that list and if game crashed some mod caused that issue. So far I haven't had any crash issues during game when using this mod list. If you want to know console commands for every item in game, download console commands mod, link in description. This show you every command there is in game and you can use engine fix UI as console. Cyberpunk 27.7 is great game mod currently, cause you can mod it middle of your playthrough. Always of course back up your save file just in case, but currently mods we have we can install middle of game. But I can highly recommend starting new game cause if you install every mod in this list it will change game a lot and you won't enjoy that new experience from beginning.